scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. It says, Gentiles shall come to your light. There is a level of ministry where all you see are Gentiles. People who are coming to be saved those coming to be sick somebody dragging his trolley of problems and coming to dump it and then you have to work on it but the time will come as your light begins to become bright like the day kings will start coming kings don't come to your light they come to the brightness the brightness of your rising and when they come like queen sheba they will not come empty-handed they will come with their bounties they will come with their blessings the wise men from the east when they saw jesus christ they came with gold they came with frankincense they came with man they came to honor him every time there is brightness it begins to draw certain kinds of people so there are many men of god who are trying to look for money they are trying to look for money because they think money makes an impactful ministry what an error it doesn't work that way money is only a reward money is a receipt for doing something right we've learned it here when you get money as a man of god is a receipt just like you buy something the receipt means you have paid for it not you will pay for it the receipt is an evidence that something has been done not is being done not will be done but the problem is we trivialize the ability of the spirit in us how many of us have looked like Gideon and felt that there is nothing within us. Oh, there is that great man of God there. There is that great woman of God there. And we forget. Mary was there standing and an angel appears to her and says, Blessed are you women among this and that and that. And then he told her that she was going to carry a child. And she said, How shall these things be? In other words, naturally this should not happen. Seeing that I know not a man. And the angel said something which is key for us this night it says the power of the highest that's how it happens the power of the highest shall overshadow you how can i be the last born in my family and yet i'm the one god will use to wipe the tears of people it says the power of the highest there is an ability of the spirit that can come upon you The second key to growing in the anointing and in God's ability is impartation. 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 Impartation is a transference of spiritual virtues. Transference of spirits. Transference of possibilities. A man who is a possessor of a dimension of possibility can share it. Like you use a candle to light another. It is a possibility in the spirit. That's the character of the dimension of God's ability called dunamis. It's an ability that is capable of being reproduced. Listen. I've said it again and again. A true leader does not maintain followers. A true leader reproduces himself and turns followers into leaders. If Joshua Selman remains a superstar and an anointed man, everybody keeps clapping. I have failed from the world's perspective and from the perspective of mediocre. We keep clapping. 
But let me tell you something. God's dimension of measure or his index of measuring success is not just by the crowd we have inside and outside. It is the individuals becoming a replica of his grace and anointing and his ability. God measures success one by one. He doesn't measure success by a crowd. Thank God for all of that. It's an evidence of the hand of God. But if we are to sample 10 people at random and engage you with spiritual challenges and see how you are able to navigate through the dynamics of the operation of the spirit, it is a true measure of the success of this ministry. The ability to be empowered and carry that conviction and go and begin to produce results around your sphere of influence. And I insist that it must happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ. So impartation and revelation. Write this down very quickly. The channels for releasing the ability of God. The ability of God must be released. Please burn this into your mind. I'm being very simple tonight because I want us to have this basic understanding before we pray the anointing the ability of the spirit must be released for people to be blessed by it it must be released it's not just the obtaining of the ability of god but the dispensing the release of it that's what brings blessings to people God's ability, God's ability is working in me, is working in me. God's ability, God's ability is working in me, it's working in me. It's God's ability, God's ability is working in me, is working in me. Sing it with me. God's ability, God's ability is working in me. Working in me. And so when a mountain stands before you and you carry this ability, you will move with audacity. Humanly speaking, you should chicken out. Come on. But I love David. David stands with a sling, conscious of an ability that is bigger than him. And Goliath said, Am I a dog? I know I'll kill you, but at least respect me. Come with knife. As if you are fighting a man. And David said, I will not, I will disgrace you. Let me even tell you how I will kill you. This is what will happen. This sling will hit you and I will remove your head. It's God's ability. When you see men do supernatural things, brothers and sisters, I want you to know it's God's ability. What you see happening tonight is God's ability. The energy, the very strength of God manifested as wisdom manifested as power manifested as faith manifested the, the ability of God is what we call grace whether grace to become or grace to do is all called grace and it's God's ability that's what makes men champions that's what makes men wonderful people is the ability of God the ability of God is like a programming it's like a software when it enters you you are infected there's nothing you can do about it the moment you carry it your environment begins to respond that's the treasure that we have in earthen vessels it's not about the vessel but the treasure and God designed it the only way you benefit from the treasure is to carry the vessel along that's the reason why when a man is anointed you don't bring out the anointing and keep him you carry the man too as you honor the anointing you honor him when you bless the anointing anointing cannot eat is the vessel that eats it as his benefit for paying attention it's working in me look at the bible full of people who took advantage of this divine ability If you get this one thing I'm teaching you, 
you will change your life in a remarkable way hallelujah play this mic Aaron sent me a text before I came here pastor and um, he sent me a text and said man of God I want you to explain to me what exactly happened in Port Harcourt. and then I looked and he said I was going to talk with him I shared my Port Harcourt story I shared it here right pastor he came from Port Harcourt. it's a land of greatness and a land of plenty listen I was going to Port Harcourt and all I had watch this although God has corrected me recently because I've been running my mouth saying things I've grown now God has corrected me recently in one of my retreats I've been corrected so I will update my curriculum because I keep saying all I had was my bag that bag was a seed I know the kind of faith that brought that bag that bag was a seed I remember dragging that bag and the ministry was about this size then everybody and they were all escorting me as if they were going for a funeral and that was how we went to the park that park in um, that park on your way to Kaduna just this one yes that Kwangila park and they dropped me there and I was laughing they were pity because they knew aside from my bus fare all I had left home and abroad in terms of monetary value was 800 naira and I was going to a land I had never gone to but I did not like the woman in 2nd Kings chapter 4 I forgot that I had an ability I kept looking at my rickety bag and all of this listen I dropped at number 23 Quarry Street around to 2 in the afternoon when I dropped there I knew I was stupid for sure because no right thinking human being would do what I had done and I stopped there 800 naira and I knew it would be foolish for me to try to look for a hotel to stay so the closest thing was at least to finish up the 800 naira and eat something with it so I went to one my mother was sharing something and watch this one thing I knew was that I was going to reign in that land I didn't know how to describe it but I knew there was an ability sometimes you need to come to the end of your road to now find out what you have been calling spare part whereas that is all you need second Kings chapter 4 the woman lost everything the husband used the children as collateral when everything had gone the prophet said what do you have in your house he said nothing except and he said you call it except the vessel is only the oil is small because of the vessel that took it not because it is small once you expand capacity the oil will increase with it he said the oil is much it's only because the oil was housed in a small vessel borrow vessel enlarge your capacity and when that woman did that she became rich with it so i went there i'll never forget when i was eating the holy spirit just sent a signal to my spirit and i found out one of my friends that used to live there and i called him and I told him, I'm here, this and that and that. Can I come and stay for a while? And then I came, I went to the house and I stayed there. Listen, my money had finished. Let me tell you what happened. I was broke. There was, I mean, things were bad. Then his sister was sick. When his sister was sick, I wasn't happy that she was sick. Don't misunderstand me. But at least I was comforted that something... <laughs> Listen undertakers are not happy that people die but at least it is the make are you getting what i'm saying now and so when she said she was sick i prayed for her when she was healed she came with a seed of one thousand naira listen that one thousand naira was what i used to buy my suit to do my first ministration the suit was not what you sell around the suit was this kind you see this kind that they move around with it you just call the man listen let me tell you a secret it's better than many things they hang around nobody will know it's only you that will know ah. oh yes are we together now i remember my friend in abuja 
calling one pastor in Port Harcourt and say a mighty man of God is in town and he said all kinds of things about me and the man said and then it happened to be that the man was from my state watch this no 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 play that thing I'm going to sing this song a lot this song we started that's our special number for this night that God's ability song listen God is my witness when I took a bike to go and see the pastor he hosted us and another person we ate in his house and then he went to go and introduce me to the church as soon as I stepped into the building my eyes were open and I gave the pastor three prophecies three prophecies in the church are you with me three days after the prophecy the first one happened 0.5 million came into the church the overseer said call that man he's coming to preach on Sunday ah, there is an ability oh, it can open doors when all else fail Makata Labada yes many things in life can fail don't trust them the real capital in your life is the anointing that one is fail proof certificate can fail internet can fail brother when all else fails reach out deep down God's ability God's ability is working in me it's working in me listen I went to the church I bought the suit with the money I can't remember how much dress look smart you will never know because I, I refused to I knew that my present was a thing I just had to manage with in my mind I was light years ahead of my present so I wasn't embarrassed by it because I knew my physical reality will necessarily necessarily become my mindset and my perspective when I went there on that Sunday morning it was a Sunday morning. I was on my way to come and they sent me the message to preach. They said I should preach about vow. I said I fasted for three days for this opportunity. And you are now sending me the message. God had already given me a word. Listen, the man with the church was a prophet. He doesn't come out until after the service. When you finish preaching, he will now come out and do his thing. When I stepped in and I looked at the people, I had never seen a congregation of people who were that demonized. And... Um, there was you know we are used to we write our songs in zaria right so it's very difficult to sing these songs outside because we write our songs we receive them we compose them and i didn't know the kind of song to raise because uh, i wasn't used to all those songs our songs you can be humming for 30 minutes you don't do that there there was one song that i remember now is the time for the new anointing Gird up your loins and be ready. Every yoke of bondage surely must be broken. That was the song I raised. My goodness, that meeting, that meeting was something else. It was, it was, it was an amazing meeting. You can imagine the things that God did. After that meeting, I had honorarium. I ate in the house of the pastor. They took me to another place. You know how they are. They are not like the not here that ignore your grace till you die. <laughs> right there, once they see grace, they celebrate it immediately. It's not in the north that they will just look and say, can you help me? No. They know how to... Am I lying, pastor? Come on now. They celebrate grace very generously. And so we went there. And from that meeting, they said two weeks after the church was going to have a convention and I was going to be their major speaker. Listen from that time it was one meeting after one meeting after one encounter after one encounter after one encounter after one encounter and within six months my life had changed changed in a way I didn't even know where I was coming from again it had so changed the road had deleted behind me never to return there again that's why I never forget his ability when all else fail today I've stood before kings I've stood before politicians none of my certificates have brought me before these people but an ability of the spirit are you hearing what I'm saying so don't ignore it especially for some of you who are in school read your book but don't fool yourself the world we live in needs an ability of the spirit 
needs an ability of the spirit. Let's finish up. Mm. The primary channel for releasing God's ability is your words. 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 Where the word of a king is, there is power. Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2. And the spirit entered me when he spake unto me. The spirit entered me when he spake unto me. The spirit entered me when he spake unto me. An impartation, a dispensing of that anointing. He said, and it set me upon my feet. Listen, there are people sitting now hearing me. You will stand up from this meeting. And it's like something will suddenly rise within you. And you will say, I know I may not be any other thing, but I'm anointed. I may not be any other thing. I was teaching the school of ministry students. And I taught them, no matter what society says you are not, they may be right, but they are wrong when they say you are not anointed. Hmm. They may be right. They may say you are not fine. It may be true. They may say you are from a background where the map of your village was not added when they were you don't even use gps to find it they are right but if they ignore the anointing they are wrong the anointing will make nations follow you on their knees and it will be a privilege for them to receive of your grace you will be standing surprised while they are saying thank you God's ability is released through words. Number three, your hands. Listen, please look up. I know that many of us have ignored our hands. I want everybody to look at your hands if you can. These hands. It's working in you. God's ability. God's ability. It's working in you. He's working in you. Listen. These hands you see, brothers and sisters, a hand is a mystery in the realm of the spirit. A hand is not what holds people. That's why the Bible talks about the right hand of God. It talks about the hand of God. The hands are also doors in the spirit. They are channels for releasing the anointing. The work of a man is done through his hands. When you realize that there is an ability on your hands, it will bring upon your life creativity. It will bring upon your life innovations. You will do things through your hands you will never believe possible. These hands, these hands can open the gates of nations to you. These hands can bring kingdoms to their knees. These hands can swing the two leaf gates of your destiny open. God's ability, God's ability is working in me, is working in me. Brothers and sisters, you are getting blessed right now because I am speaking. You are not hearing English. Some of you, you don't even know what is happening to you as you are listening to me. You don't know whether you should sit down, whether you should stand up because there is an ability. My mouth is a window. It's a window revealing the realm of the spirit. It's a window communicating the secret place. Something is happening to your spirit as you are receiving. This is not a lecture. This is not a lecture. It's an ability. The power of the Holy Ghost. It's working in you. <laughs> He's working in you. It's God's ability. God's ability. It's working in you. It's working in you. And so as you speak, the opening of your mouth is like the opening of the portals in the spirit. 
and you begin to speak as you communicate those realities you are changing people they don't even know what is happening to them they just know that there is an activity it's not english it's not oratory it's called utterance 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 is by the ability of the spirit it's not a lecture you are changing men you are using words to bring them into an experience they cannot explain the ability of God walking in a man and so the spirit enters you the words come with fire the words come with illumination they do something to your spirit man it's like light some of you sometimes you don't even know what you are receiving you can't tell what is happening to you it's like hammer it's like fire you can't tell it's an ability it comes help that many please it comes from heaven an ability of the spirit God's ability be sensitive I sense the anointing of the Holy Spirit already moving we're going to pray it's working in me that's what I want you to become so anointed so full of his ability the Bible says even God who quickened the dead and uses his mouth to call things he uses his mouth to make things happen that would not have happened the prophet said by this time he was not revealing he was creating it wouldn't have happened his words created it he's working in me listen many of us have been speaking it's time for us to be communicators of light and power it's time for us to be communicators of divine reality i see the angels of the lord pouring what looks like oil on people this is what i see it's like an anointing coming on people strong anointing of the holy ghost god's ability it's an ability it's an ability of the holy ghost that the opening of your mouth is a gate in the spirit working in me working in me god's ability is god's ability it's working in me it's working in me shake a tabala la 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 god's ability is god's ability it's working in me it's working in me sing it with me everybody god's ability God's ability is working in me. Shaba baba la kata baba la baba. It's God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. Listen. Listen. The third way the ability of God is dispensed is through the instrument of your atmosphere. Hmm. Listen, when you carry the ability of God, that ability creates like a spiritual electromagnetic field around you. Anybody that comes within that atmosphere, possibilities just like many of you are under this atmosphere right now and then sicknesses will leave just by themselves without any prayer there is an ability of the spirit when Saul came into an atmosphere where there was a principality called Samuel the atmosphere affected him and the spirit of prophecy fell upon him when the ability of God is at work in you, your atmosphere has prophetic implications. Your atmosphere has prophetic implications. It's working in me. Yeah. Hallelujah. God's ability.
ability is released by faith you release the ability of God by faith let me explain to you what I mean the ability of the spirit listen is released on the strength of conviction your persuasion about who God is and what he has put in you sponsors your audacity to take action action based on that consciousness is called faith we've taught a lot of dogma about faith faith is nothing based on just human asset faith is the name given to the action you take based on your persuasion of who God is and then the Bible says and the Lord walking with them confirming the word listen the anointing of the spirit is the principal capital in your life please hear me Action that is based on your conviction as action that is based on expectation by the ability of the spirit so your hands you expect that people will receive impartations this is how it works brothers and sisters there is an ability in you there is an ability in you you must know this there is an ability in you it's, it's not it's not about some gimmicks please this is not even about falling down it's called the mystery of godliness where god can dwell in a man so your body is like a puppet they are seeing you but there is another agency at work it's called the ability of god that's what will make you a wonder men will keep looking when they think they have exhausted you then you come from another dimension because you are connected to a supply that is eternal not bounded with time no fatigue is not bounded to the limitations of this system it's the ability of god the ability of god reproduce again and again and again and again it's not about trial and error you can gain mastery in the dispensing of his ability yes yes strong meat belongs to those who are of full age who by reason of use they have gained mastery it's like fighting god's ability it's god's ability he's working in me that's why we can tell you to come for this meeting and we can guarantee that you will be blessed yes we can guarantee not on the strength of the flesh there is an ability no man's hardness can stand it no matter how stubborn you are it doesn't make any difference because when he shows up the bible says the voice of god upon the waters is mighty listen this is what happens in the teachings there are many people here who have come from other places and they cannot explain what happens to them when they listen to these teachings it's not so much about the revelation there is an ability in it that compels compliance it's called anakazo it's a greek word it's the compelling power of the spirit It is with that ability that we can prophesy over your life and your job and it will change listen it's not just saying change change receive all those things are cabbages what is the ability that sponsors it for i am a man under authority he says and on the strength of that authority i tell one go and he will go i tell one come and he will come how can cancer die god's ability how can a jobless person get a job before Monday? God's ability. How can a, a, a life, I mean, come on, think about it, people. It's the ability of the spirit. It's not by might. It's not by power. There is an ability bigger than your effort, bigger than your strength. It's God's ability. Help them, please. God's ability. 
qualification in life would have given me access to them at this level and I am amazed I am amazed I travel all the time and I am humbled people love me from regions to regions it's not just that they love Joshua Selman many of them don't even know me there is something when you carry it you become a joy of nations when you carry that anointing you become desirable the anointing will make up for your weaknesses it will make up big time listen listen years ago there was somebody who wanted to go to nda and there is a height there is a level to which if you are not as tall as that height they will not take you and the person who wanted to go there was lower than that height and when he went they dismissed him and he went and met the emir of Zaria and the emir of Zaria sent him with delegates that they should go and tell the commandant and the people that the emir has added his height did you hear what I said that the emir has added his height and they took him that's what the anointing does where you cannot enter others are entering because they are intelligent others are entering because they have connection when they come they ask you what do you have and then you say god's ability god's ability is working in me it's working god's ability god's ability is working in me Listen, they may they can't ignore you for too long it won't be too long somebody will be confused you will be needed immediately it won't be too long somebody will be sick demons are still on earth which guarantees that you remain valuable listen listen for as long as there is a demand for your anointing you remain valuable business tells us until you have something you are unnecessary the anointing keeps you valuable forever stocks can rise and fall oil can rise and fall but the anointing has equal value in every territory God's ability listen when you carry Naira when you carry Naira as soon as you get to London with Naira, Naira is no longer valuable. Is that true? You have to change it to another currency. When you travel to Israel, you have to change the pounds or euro to shekels to be able to use it. When you travel to Asia, you now have to change it to yen and the rest to use it. But the anointing, the way it works in Nigeria, when you get to UK, there is no translation, there is no downgrading. Same sickness, same demons, same challenges. Listen, 
rich men fall sick rich men get confused politicians get confused have you seen certain businesses that are only for certain people you only sell pampas for children abi and an adult who is sick an old man a young man doesn't need pampas are you getting what i'm saying you you only bab somebody like me who always wants his hair low if you want to shine it let it shine this is the way you do it but somebody who keeps his head doesn't need it there are certain things in life that are only for a group of people the anointing is a master capital it is relevant anywhere everywhere and at all times you need it in business you need it in your academics you need it in marriage pursue me students you need it in your pursue me no 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 it's not just by the y the x there is an ability let me tell you early enough there is an ability of the spirit because you can write an exam well and somebody can be marking your exam and your script will fall down there is an anointing that guarantees it remains there are you hearing what i'm saying number one it brings you it makes you greatly desired number two the ability of god gives you favor with men ah. please listen to my message activating seasons of greatness favor with men and it does that in three dimensions it gives you access to people access to resources and access to opportunities these are the three things any man needs to succeed access to people access to resources access to opportunities the anointing brings access not everything is solved by money access is greater than money access 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 hallelujah it's god's ability listen we went benign we went benign recently for a meeting i say these things to encourage you after the meeting some people came in from asaba and they shared a very touching testimony and um, the pastors came in great ministry doing great things for god there when they came in they said this that they believe it to be an angel but they said somebody at a point where the ministry really needed the hand of god somebody just entered with one of our teachings and gave them and left never to see him again never knew him he was just somebody who came and dropped it and left and the pastor said when they listened to it they got all the information and as at the time they were talking to me they said they had over 200 of the messages and it has revolutionized the people there are people today who know me and love this ministry i have never seen them in fact 75 percent of those who get blessed by this ministry we have never set our eyes some of them is just one message it's a mystery it's a mystery if you think it's ordinary try it just go online and put anything i don't care what just put anything and invite people there is an angel there is an angel of the lord's presence that signifies the word of god and sends it like an envoy hallelujah during my during my birthday i think we had compliments from over 16 nations 16 nations of the world that have been blessed by the ministry i've not gone to most of them see that but then it's coming there are people who take these messages by themselves and keep spreading that's their ministry that is like a covenant they signed with god brothers and sisters tonight i want you to give up on your strength outside of god i'm reducing your journey towards destiny you will waste your time for nothing and find out after 70 years that this is not how it works but when the ability of god is upon you it will make you a sign and a wonder you will have unusual access access to things you will not pay for the anointing will pay for things for you unusual access hallelujah and finally the third reward for the ability of the spirit working in you 
is ever increasing honor honor let me tell you what honor is listen honor is not just recognition honor is the discernment of your uniqueness and the ability to reward it if you are not rewarded for your uniqueness it's not honor you can be recognized but when a man recognizes you and is willing to invest in you that is honor to honor is to esteem you with respect and dignity and that you'll be rewarded for your blessings almost every day of my life there are people blessing me sowing seeds doing all kinds of things I sat down this morning and I was talking to the Lord I said Lord what are you doing to me this is more than I have bargained for as soon as we arrived this evening I just came in and when I came out I was almost sometimes you see me come and sit down and I just put my head down I'm fighting tears many times because I remain humbled at the hand of God the kind of workers that God has given in this ministry I think they, they are even it looks like they believe in the ministry more than me tomorrow is a leaders retreat and Sunday is the workers retreat committed people with their life like madmen you try to coordinate people like that and you see how easy it is of course they are trained of course there are principles but the force of cohesion is the ability of the spirit there is an anointing tonight listen I want everybody hearing the sound of my voice inside and outside you're going to make up your mind tonight and say Lord I'm tired of this inferiority and complex it may not have been your fault to have come from the background you came from but it can change I love my father he's a great man and I see most of the things that happened in my life with him as ignorance. But there was a time my father spoke to me and said, I was going to become a failure in this life. And his prayer is that I fail alone and not bring other people. About four years ago, my father got down on his knees and asked me to pray for him. The anointing of the spirit will make you a desire of nations. See, Forget about the meager criticisms you will receive. It's nothing compared to the honor. It's one is to one million. It is totally negligible. Believe me. This is what I know. This is what my hands have handled. And I came with this word tonight. The anointing of the spirit is an equalizer. It can cover for everything that went wrong. So you no longer have an excuse no matter what else fails when you are anointed you still remain valuable the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is hear me the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference we are going to pray and tonight I want us to pray because many of us are going to receive there will be a lot of impartations in this place tonight especially for some of us who just came newly don't just come naively open up your heart let something fall on your life and change you forever i have found my servant please give us psalm 89 verse 20. psalm 89 verse 20. 89 verse 20 help us media it's his ability that's why my secret place listen my secret place remains my greatest asset not ministrations the man of god apostle johnson Suleiman, said something that blessed me one time listen he said he was in the secret place praying and building and planning and something happened a big man supposedly a politician big man 
he came and spoke to him and said he wanted to see him and uh, he was with god one hour he didn't come out two hours he didn't come out three hours he didn't come out and the wife was already getting embarrassed that how can you leave a big man like this and they went to knock and one of his daughters went to knock and then he opened the door and she was saying daddy why attend to this man let him go and he looked at her compassionately and he said my daughter see them he said do you know why this man is here he's here because of what i am doing he's not here because he likes me he's here because there is an anointing he needs he needs direction he needs a prophetic word if i stop doing what i'm doing he will not come back again let him wait that's why my secret place is the greatest song. you don't find me gallivanting around i'm like a herbalist you don't see me strolling around and then buying orange peeling it and just moving around no because you are gathered here tonight because you love god it is true but you have come to hear a man who you consider to be anointed and the only reason why you will keep coming and listening and the only reason why nations will keep coming is because of this ability the miracle service is by the corner there are sick people hiv cancer all kinds of oppressed people in this place right now there are families that have traveled kilometers to come and they are trusting god for a touch and so the greatest publicity of a believer men of god get this is the secret place that's the place you receive strength that's the place you receive innovation that is where you receive wisdom. it says i have found david my servant and with my holy oil i smeared him with oil that activated an ability let's look at the next three verses 21 with whom my hand shall be established my arm shall also strengthen him the enemy shall not exact upon him nor the son of wickedness afflict him i will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him 24 but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his horn be exalted he said thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side listen my prayer is that the least among us here will be as great as david but you know if you take it from the standpoint of intelligence there are people who are a thousand times more intelligent than you your advantage in the kingdom is the backing of the spirit please listen if you keep me side by side with brilliant people i may not have too much to say if you keep me side by side with intellectuals i may have something to say but maybe not much if you keep me around older people they have experience i may only have little to say if you keep me around people the world is full of cynical people even if i want to bless them they will not believe in me either because i'm not their tribe or because of certain parameters so my bailout is the anointing i got the anointing upon my life jealously i can lose everything but not his presence and the anointing that it brings it says but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his horns listen god can exalt the horn of a man god spoke to us that this is the season of the rain and the rain is already falling i tell you people's stories are changing god is taking people to newer levels of wealth newer levels of the anointing newer levels of the spirit inside and outside some of you are standing there are no seats standing by the fence listen you are face to face with destiny it's not by might it's not by power but it's by my spirit if you've never believed in the ability of god in you i want you to believe it ephesians 3 20 and then we'll pray ephesians chapter 3 please verse 20 help us media verse 20 20 3 20 everyone read it together
now unto him who is the him the almighty god who is able to do say god is able to do in me whatever he desires god is able to do in me god is able to do in me years ago when i saw these meetings I, I, I would say I didn't believe them, but it was difficult to explain it. See, let me tell you something. There are times a vision can be so great, there's no point trying to share it. Because nobody can understand. But only be consistent. When you begin to birth wonders, then the world will know. He's a mighty God. And I want you to believe Him. He can change anyone's story. God can make you the song of many like David the song upon the mouth of women and children young and old you reign you ancient Zion's king Kadosh Kadosh you are mighty on the earth of all all sing all fountains of the deep cry out you reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your own. O sea, O fountains of the deep, cry out, Kadosh, you are mighty on your own. 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 You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty in my life. Oh, sing, thou fountains of the deep, cry out, Kadosh, you are mighty in my life. 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 Sing it for your house, mighty. Listen, before we pray, the Lord is giving me an instruction. Listen, the Lord is giving me an instruction. There are at least 15 people that I see. A strong anointing is going to come upon them. Please let me have them outside here. Just those 15 people who are going to pray. But the Lord is ministering to me because he's activating something. It's a substance of the spirit upon those 15 people. I'm about to pray right now and the angels of the Lord will separate those people mightily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Lord, where are those 15 people? Right now, in the name of Jesus, let the fire of God draw them out right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, inside and outside. Shkapata, Shekepepeta, Empratos Kalaba. I send the word in the realm of the spirit. Shekebarataba. Reketeteketete. Shekepekelebosh. Let there be that activation. Inside and outside. 
those portals. I open it in the name of Jesus. You can't stand it. No, you can't stand it. It's an ability from heaven. It's an ability from heaven. An ability from heaven. You will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. It's by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the divine ability from the Holy Ghost 
that empowers a man to be a sign and a wonder, a sign and a wonder, a sign and a wonder. The anointing of the Spirit empowers you to be a mystery.
God's ability God's ability is working in me Hallelujah 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 There are levels of favor only the anointing can bring There are levels of increase only the anointing can bring There are levels of grace and glory only the anointing can bring I like you to pray that every door of favor you need to enter may the anointing bring you into it lift your voice and pray the distance between you and a major breakthrough is one door of favor away stop you. I tell you when the anointing is upon you you are invincible. No power can stop you. You will break walls. You will climb mountains when the anointing is upon you. When men think you are born with, you will rise by an agency that they cannot understand. Hallelujah. 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 Just one last prayer point. I want you to insist. Listen. I want you to insist and say between now and the end of this month, you must have a testimony. Insist. Lift your voice and pray. Don't pray. Pray of cowardice. You are praying the will of God. Shabakata. By the anointing. Let it bring proofs. Supernatural testimonies. In my life. In my finances. In my body. Pray. In my academics. In my marriage. Listen to me. From today, I want you to walk in the consciousness that I'm anointed. It has nothing to do with a man of God. You need the anointing to birth ideas, financial ideas. You need that anointing for creativity. Your mind will not think independent of the anointing. You need that idea. You need that creativity. The anointing will bring direction to your life. It's God's ability. It's not your ability. It's God's ability. Hallelujah. Father, I pray in the name of your son, Jesus. From today, let no one here be ordinary. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying over you from the depth of my heart. And I prophesy to you that the mountains that have stood before you and the next dimension in your walk with God, may the anointing of God turn them into testimonies. The believer is a possessor. The believer is a possessor. Blessed is she that believes, for unto her there shall be a performance. In the name that is above all names, everything that has stopped the grace upon your life from finding expression, everything that has stopped the grace of God upon your life from being recognized by those who it was sent to, I tear off that fail tonight in the name of Jesus. Everything that has blocked the flow of grace from the realm of the spirit to you, it leaves heaven but it doesn't get to you. Every pathway in the spirit, by whatever mystery that has been blocked, I open it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spiritual inaccuracy in the name of Jesus, every missing the mark spiritually, every disalignment, everything that makes you get it but not complete, you receive things from heaven but you don't get the full details. Right now in the name of Jesus, I supply power to your spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, some of you have dreams, but you have an incomplete dream. Just when the information you need in the dream is about to come, then you wake up. You know it was of God. It was holding the key to clarity, but something covered it. Right now, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, may there be spiritual accuracy. I speak in spiritual accuracy. I prophesy spiritual accuracy. Everything that has made you timid and fearful and made you think you are nobody and that the anointing cannot find expression in your life. Tonight I curse that spirit. By the God of heaven I curse fear. I curse intimidation. I curse timidity. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I prophesy to you in this season, arise. Arise and shine. It's your season of the rain. Every dryness in your life, it is swallowed up by the rain. The Bible says, until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high. Isaiah 32, 15. Until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high. And then the wilderness will be counted for a fruitful vine. And a fruitful vine will be counted for a forest. Everything that has covered your glory. A man can walk with his glory covered. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the one who is the lifter up of men. By the agency of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. May your glory begin to speak from today. I prophesy may your glory begin to speak from today. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now keep standing. There are people here inside and outside. You've never made a serious decision to walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. Some at one point or the other, you may have come to commit yourself. You've answered an altar call before. But for some reason, things happen around your life and you went haywire. Tonight, God is giving you an opportunity. He's giving you a new beginning inside and outside no matter how far you are do not miss out the activities of the spirit are only for those who are part of the program of god those who have experienced the reality of the new birth wherever you are 
you want to say jesus come into my heart or you are rededicating your life you are saying from today i stop playing church i mean business with jesus inside and outside especially for those of us who came for the post you and me but adventure you've just been living your life the way you want but right now you are saying i'm making my ways right wherever you are leave your seat and come out here right now quickly i'll just count one to ten we're out of time one two inside and outside We'll just count one to ten for time's sake very quickly. Four. Don't let no devil stop you. He's giving you a new beginning. Five. Six. Please clear the way for them. Seven. God bless you. Keep coming. Eight. Nine. No power will stop you tonight. It's time to make it right for real. God bless you. Keep coming. Koinonia, celebrate them. Motivate them. Motivate them. The devil is a liar. Keep clapping. Motivate them. They are coming from outside. No matter how far you are, please clear the way for them. Keep coming. Don't allow anybody to stop you. Make your way to the front. Hallelujah. The power of God is here right where you are. In one minute, I'd like you to talk to the Lord. You are not reciting a poem. From the depth of your heart, Jesus, I have come for real. No playing games. Go ahead and pray. Those of you in front here. Jesus, I have come to you. Go ahead and pray. Jesus, I come to you. Jesus, I come to you. No playing games. No one leg in, one leg out. Jesus, I come to you. Those of us standing, stretch your hands towards them. Don't just watch them. Pray for them from the depth of your heart. Pray as if you are praying for your son or your daughter or your mother or father. Make sure you are talking to the Lord. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to lead you to pray this prayer. There is a strong anointing for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Many of you as you are praying this prayer, you are not filled with the Holy Spirit. The power of God will just come upon you. There is such a strong anointing for baptism in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Now those of you in front, say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you are the son of God I repent of my sins and I declare that I need you in my life from today I receive eternal life say it I receive eternal life into my spirit forward ever backward never I break away from every wrong association and I receive grace to live the victorious life in the name of Jesus Christ now let me pray for you father I pray for these ones I stretch my hands may the power of God come upon them in the name of Jesus Christ I'm speaking to you I lay my hands prophetically upon you and I declare in the name of Jesus that every weight every encumbrance that keeps you down the power of sin over your life is broken right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And a fresh supply of grace from today, such a hunger for God will come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, a hunger for prayer, a hunger for the study of the word, a hunger for fellowship in the house of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, thank you for making this glorious decision. This is the best decision in your life. Hold on. I want you to follow the gentleman. There are 
some people waving their hands all of you just walk this way they will lead you they will have your details and speak to you and um, we'll follow you up we'll send an sms to you to follow up celebrate them Koyonia, god bless you appreciate them please hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.